You have an environment that's built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What security controls do you need to put in place in order to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman and I am the CISO for Project Hosts. And today I want to talk with you about the IR family of controls within the FedRAMP control set. IR stands for Instant Response and these controls have to do with what do you do if your cloud environment is compromised in some way or there's some sort of security incident. If that does happen, then you need to have in place a plan for what you will do to respond and respond quickly. And in that plan, it has to have identified key people that play key roles. And they have to have been trained on their roles in plenty of time so that if something were to happen, they would know exactly what to do and do it quickly. There's a difference between FedRAMP Moderate, FedRAMP High, and DISA IL-5 in terms of what's required for incident response. As you go up the scale, there are many more controls that are involved. For example, DISA has by far the most incident response controls. And they also require very specific things around how do you categorize each incident that happens, and what are the phases that you go through in order to respond to it. What are the timelines for those phases to make sure you get them done in the right time frame? These are all spelled out very specifically for DISA. They are also for FedRAMP ones for NIST. And to keep that all straight, some sort of tool is very helpful. We developed a tool which we call our ISMS Cloud, which allows us to report all of our incidents using the right categorization and the right phases and do everything in each phase appropriately and in the right time frame that is required by either NIST or DISA. So that allows us that when our auditors see us during our annual assessment they can see that we have responded in the correct way. Another key thing for IR is to be connected to US CERT in order to get alerts when there are nationwide security incidents or things to be careful of and also US Cybercom for uh, DISA environments. Also, if an incident does happen in your own environment, you need to report to US CERT or US Cybercom that incident. The last thing about incident response is probably the worst kind of incident that could happen is information spillage, losing key information that you wanted to keep protected. And so that's why there's actually five controls within the control family, all just around information spillage. This is an area where you need to, again, make sure that you have well-trained people that know exactly what to do in the right time frame. So that's more or less it for the incident response family. I hope this was helpful, and please have a look at our other videos that we have in this series, and let us know what you think, and contact us if you have any questions about IR or FedRAMP in general. Thank you. Thank you.